guys welcome back to my channel if you are a new subscriber thank you so much for stopping by please hit the subscribe button don't forget to also hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload videos my name is Annette I upload videos once or twice a week covering a wide variety of topics um, one of the topics that I cover is motherhood because I'm a new mom I have a daughter and she's just the best thing that happened to me however People don't tell you about the changes that come with motherhood. Now, I know the people out there talking about postpartum depression and a whole bunch of other things that happen during motherhood. However, I do believe that my point is more relatable because not only am I experiencing these things in real life and in real time, I keep it real with you. I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a physician. I'm just a regular degular schmegula mom who's dealing with, you know, um, postpartum issues especially in a pandemic. So yes, I did give birth smack in the middle of the pandemic before we even knew that um, masks were effective. We just were trying to figure out everything that was going on. So that was a very trying time in my life, but I do, I'm happy that I was able to go through it because imagine having a brand new baby in a pandemic. My mom's flight was canceled from Nigeria, so she couldn't stay with me. And I had zero help, no help, no community, no village. Hubby was working all the time. In New York, we were seeing a thousand deaths a day that's New York State and every 20 minutes there were like sirens ambulances just racing by where I live because we're surrounded by four hospitals and you cannot imagine the trauma because each time I heard that sound I knew that somebody was sick with COVID or somebody was about to die with COVID and carry my new baby you know just trying to figure out oh my god what's going on how can i protect this little innocent child who has no idea what's going on and is you know dependent on me for everything so with that being said motherhood is the best thing that's happened to me i did have a baby a little later in my life and i'm so happy that i did because i'm in my um late 30s i was in late but like mid 30s and with that i was prepared i was prepared for a lot of things that you know motherhood could bring i was ready for the change I was ready for a lifestyle shift. However, you cannot be ready, 100% ready. There's some things you're just never gonna know. And by the time you bring it up to other people, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, that happens. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me? It's not like I would have not you know, decided to have a baby, but I would just like to know that this is something that happens. So one of the things that I'm talking about today in this postpartum series, dealing with postpartum depression, I thankfully have not been diagnosed with postpartum depression. However, I did take a lot of proactive steps to make sure that I do not get depressed because, uh, and nobody got time for that. There's life that needs to be lived. You know, I have so much joy in the world. I have so many things that I want to accomplish and I really would not like to be depressed right now. Baby girl woke up from her nap and is going to join me for the rest of this video because, um, uh, she's just so precious that i really don't like putting her down but also i know that if i put her down in her crib she is going to cry because that's just where she is at right now so i'm just going to continue this video and hold her for the duration of it luckily it's not going to be a long video so let's continue where we left off so as i was saying i did not want to be depressed so i made sure that i did everything that I possibly could in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, of course, it's a medical condition, so there's nothing that I can do to prevent that from happening if it so happens. However, I do believe that societal factors and environmental factors and steps that you take can actually prevent this from happening. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you tips as to how you can prevent, manage, and deal with postpartum depression. The very first thing I like to talk about is the fact that you need to understand and embrace the change that is happening. A lot of times, a lot of women have a hard time, like me, adjusting, but I was ready for the change. I knew that I would have to put my career in the, somewhat in the back burner for a while. I knew that I would have less time with my friends. I knew that I would not be able to go shopping as much as I would have liked, or you know, just basically things that I would have liked to do. I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to do them anymore, at least for a while. And that understanding gave me some level of peace. It gave me some level of um, hope that it will help my interaction and it will help going forward. So once you know that that's you know a possibility and that's something that's going to happen, it's easier for you to adapt to the change. If you still think you can just pop out a baby and then go about your regular day life, think again. 
and the divergence between your new life as a mom and your previous life may come as a shock to you if you're not prepared. And again, you can only be so prepared, but at least you can try to be as prepared as you can. So embrace your new life, recognize that it's gonna be different and things are different and embrace it. The second thing I'll ask you to do is seek out a village. We were not designed to um, do this alone. Okay, we're designed to go through parenthood with a crew of people. From time immemorial, there's always been a group of women helping mothers deal with postpartum issues, and this is no different. So seek out a village, be it your mother, your mother-in-law, your sisters, your friends. I had an online group of women online because that's the only way I could meet with anyone, and I've, from there I've made amazing friendships. We all share stories about breastfeeding, we share stories about our respective journeys, we share stories about swaddling, and you get to realize that you are not dealing with this alone. You, you know, you're legit going through a lot, but you're not doing this alone. So seek out a village is because it will definitely help you. Something else you have to be aware of is unexpected triggers. You may be doing well, everything may be going fine, but then something will happen that will trigger you. For example, one day I realized that I was almost never going to be able to eat a full meal by... Oops, speed up. Eat a full meal by... Eat a full meal by... One day I had a mango moment. I basically realized that I was never going to be able to eat, um, at least for the most part, without either having a baby on my hip or my thigh or being strapped to me in some way, shape or form, or without even like stopping my meal halfway through to go tan to the baby and i was so surprised when that happened because i didn't realize how time consuming that was going to be um, i also had another moment when i realized that i started having postpartum hair loss and that got me sad for like a day or two until i started taking proactive measures to figure out okay how can i figure this out rice water <laughs> but yeah so other things didn't trigger me loss of social life for now didn't trigger me um you know postpartum weight did not trigger me I don't know, postpartum bleeding did not trigger me, you know, issues of breastfeeding did not trigger me, but just my inability to eat a mango on my own um, <laughs> triggered me and postpartum hair loss triggered me. So you'd be surprised what's triggering. So just expect that something unexpected will happen and that will trigger you and it's best to be prepared for it um, and then deal with it accordingly. And then the fourth tip I have for you is to know, recognize and believe that you're not alone. Women have been dealing with this for a long time. You know, I'm glad there's a science behind it. I'm glad that people now understand that it's not just you, you know, bitching or being unable to, to function. There's actually a chemical imbalance caused the postpartum depression. Know you're not alone. Know that you're not unique. You could have all the help in the world and be postpartum depressed. You could be alone figuring everything, navigating through everything like me and still be postpartum depressed. You have no idea what's going to happen. Um, so know you're not alone. Knowing that you're not alone should provide some sort of help. She should provide some sort of comfort. Should provide some sort of relief knowing that I'm unique, but I'm not that unique. You know, I'm unique, but this happened to me. And it's natural because through pregnancy, you have all these hormones going on through your body and, you know, that's needed for the birth of a child. And then you birth that child and you lose all those hormones and you have a different set of hormones. I had to put baby girl down for a second because I realized she was fine and she was stable. So yes, first you have the hormones while you're pregnant and then you have a different set of hormones after you've had the baby and while you're breastfeeding or, you know, whichever way you choose to feed the baby. And that's real. This is like a real thing that happens. The changes between all of that definitely will mess with you, definitely will mess with the chemical balance in your brain on some level. And that's, you know, a part of, I believe, one of the reasons why people get postpartum depressed. So um, know that you're not alone. This happens. So just understand you're not alone. Don't feel isolated. And this, and this brings me to my last tip, seek help. There are remedies out there, you know, the cognitive behavior remedies out there for you. You know, you can take medication, you can just speak to someone. They can prescribe you medication, they can prescribe you a lifestyle change. Basically, knowledge is power and knowing fully well that you do have this condition and you know that this is something that could actually fringe on your life. As, as you know, it is important enough to seek medical help. I know a lot of people, especially in the black community, are against seeing psychiatrists, but it's absolutely important to reach out for help because not only do you need to be at your best to give the baby your best, you also need to function. You also need to be whole and you also need to feel 
seen and you need to feel heard and you should not stay in this funky area for years because that's happened to a lot of women it affects your relationship with your child it affects your relationship with your husband or your partner it also affects your relationship with your family members especially if you have family members around so those are my tips guys for dealing with postpartum depression if you are depressed or if you feel like you're depressed there are different you know tools out there that can provide you with the help you need there are different articles out there this is just my two cents i am not a medical professional these are things that worked for me and these are things that i always 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 speak to my friends about and i thought i'll come here to share that with you guys so thanks for um, creating an avenue for me to speak out about these issues if you have any suggestions or if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section below i would love to hear from you also hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thanks guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in my next one bye